These are all reforms that are focused on how do we work better together. Governor Snyder is promoting his plans for cities to share services to save money. Good evening, everyone. I'm Lee Vanamy. Julia Dragas is off tonight. The governor came to Grand Rapids today to deliver his government reform message. Grand Rapids is already doing what the governor wants to see, as WZZM 13's Peter Ross now reports. Grand Rapids has consolidated its emergency dispatch systems with Wyoming and is working on plans to cooperate on fire services as well. These are the kinds of things cities must do if they are to receive any state funding from Snyder. It's scary times. Scary times. Snyder did not see the protesters outside City Hall. He's going to destroy everything at the rate he's going. Up on the ninth floor, he found a more receptive audience. Please welcome the governor of Michigan, Rick Snyder. Mayors and managers struggling to deliver municipal services with declining state dollars. And the goal here isn't to punish people. It's to reward success and to create a new culture encouraging best practice. Snyder wants city leaders to consolidate and share services and cut employee compensation, including pensions. Finally, on medical benefits, that they look at 80-20 as the cost share split on medical premiums. Without these changes, cities would receive even less state funds. I'm confident that Grand Rapids, uh, you know, being once again ahead of the game, is going to be uh, is going to be able to succeed in getting our share of this relatively uh, smaller pot. Snyder also supports the new One Kent government plan. That would create a regional metro government, combining now the governments of Kent County and the city of Grand Rapids. A Democratic state representative is concerned about what he calls Snyder's Lansing knows best attitude. But my feeling is that the government that's closest to the people has the best ability to represent the people and as we're expanding the size of government I'm just concerned about the long-term implications of that. The people are upset and I think the people are going to get progressively upset as this goes along. Snyder also has plans for public school reform but he won't reveal them until next month.